It's 7 a.m. right on the nose. It's 36 degrees and I am pulling into the area where the competition is hosted. And uh, this is where the butterflies really kick in. I've actually been up since five o'clock. You know, it's a, it's a 35 minute drive out here to begin with, but I don't like to feel rushed before competition. I, there are enough things that rack my nerves uh, before a competition. Now, I'm a middle of the pack kind of guy anyway, so I'm not nervous like, boy, I, I might win something today or something like that. But if you're not nervous before doing a competition like this, you probably aren't challenging yourself enough. And that's part of what makes this fun for me. So it's a good kind of nerves, but they are there nonetheless. Stand by. This is my first stage at the Precision Rifle Series match held on April 9th and 10th, 2016 at Woody's near Apex, North Carolina. It's a good thing too because it was my best performance the whole match. The rifle I'm shooting is a Bergara LRP Elite in 6.5 Creedmoor and I'm shooting prime ammunition 130 grain match ammo. Bergara is the title sponsor of this match and they offered me a chance to shoot on their team as part of my evaluation of their new rifle. PRS matches, as the name implies, are precision shooting competitions. You shoot as an individual and are completely responsible for calling your own misses, which is the biggest challenge for me as I do miss a lot. This stage is relatively easy as you're shooting off a roof at six targets. I'm pretty slow when it comes to setting up and moving between targets, so even though I hit the first five targets with five rounds, I was rushed on the sixth and missed it just as I ran out of time. Speaking of which, the maximum time for each stage was only 90 seconds. <laughs> Most of the stages are much more challenging, requiring you to shoot from various positions that simulate real-world scenarios. This stage was called Mom's Ride because we're shooting out of the back of a minivan. Though we can use the window frame for front support, any rear support had to come from your position and any other aids you carried with you. I used a pillow under my right arm which gave me a very stable shooting position. My main enemy on this stage became the battle for all of us the rest of the day. Wind. Wind was gusting between 3 and 25 miles per hour from about the time my squad got to this stage for the rest of day one. In fact, the van was rocking so much from the wind that the RO kept thinking somebody was leaning on it and moving it with their body weight. As you can see, calling misses at targets set into the woods is very difficult. There's no splash behind the target to show the bullet's impact, and there's no trace showing the path the bullet took to get there. The best that I could do was to start shooting horizontal strings, hoping to catch the right combination of wind and windage to hit the target. I also had a few other technical challenges. At the end of this stage, you can see that I couldn't load the last round, and that is a known problem with Accuracy International magazines. Normally, you take some time to fine-tune your mags to work with your rifle, or just get rid of the ones that malfunction altogether, but I didn't have the rifle long enough to do that. Man, the wind was rocking the man side to side. Stages were placed in pairs with two different shooting positions per set of targets. These stairs were paired with the minivan and it gives a great look at the wind we were dealing with the rest of the day. What's amazing to me is how easily many shooters dealt with this wind. I've never shot in anything even close to it though and my lack of experience really showed at this match. My favorite stage was called the short bus. You pre-stage your rifle in the back of the bus, but you started the stage with a hot holstered pistol. At the beep, you entered the bus, then engaged three steel targets with the pistol through the windows. After dumping your pistol in a bucket, you picked up your rifle, then engaged two steel E-types through your choice of window on the side of the bus. The challenge was in the angle of the shot, but I had no problems other than taking too much time to pull the trigger. The final phase of this stage was engaging three plates at 577 yards, but I ran out of time before making a hit on any of those.
There were a total of 12 stages all together, and it took a day and a half to knock them all out. This was the final stage, so the mood was pretty light for all of us. I, I've suffered here because, uh, for Cameron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say my, I mean, he's a member here, so I ain't gonna say a whole lot. Wait, it gets down to about the third barrel, and then we'll discuss it. Yeah. There you go. Woody. That was the man Woody himself joking it up with Ben Fleming of Bergara. These matches wouldn't be the same without a lot of good-natured ribbing. And with the two cameramen following me around everywhere, I sure got a lot of it. By the end of the match, I had earned the nickname Hollywood and wore it with pride. My lack of experience with win like this was the biggest challenge to my score, compounded with the magazine problems that even plagued me on this stage. I love shooting the LRP Elite regardless, and I really enjoyed getting to know the Bergara guys even better over the course of the competition. on that barrel isn't doing well for that mag. Flash out 72. Pushing it too high. I was getting caught on the feed lips. Yeah. I'm happy I made it that far though. <laughs> Be honest. I'm glad I didn't zero this one out. There you go, sir. Thank you, and thank you for being here. I appreciate oh, yeah, it. Yeah, man. Anytime. It's a little easier today, but yesterday was rough for everybody. These matches wouldn't happen without the dedication of the range staff, and the men and women at Woody's worked hard to give us a great match. That was a that was a good finish because these these are hard. Yeah. And. Uh, just, I, I used a shorter mag, but it was still too long for that barrel, and, and it was pushing it too high up. Mm -hmm. And catching the feed lips with the bolt really made it. So I, I had to change everything right there, but I still have fun doing it. And that's it in a nutshell. I have a blast at these competitions regardless of where I place. PRS matches will give you shooting experiences difficult to get any other way, and friendships that will last beyond the final stage. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and click on the logo to subscribe for more videos on precision shooting matches and gear. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang and I hope to see you next time. You ready? Are my camera guys ready? Yes sir. Okay, yes. Stand by. Oh my camera guys ready. All popular man. Minions. Did you get the battle? All my camera guys ready? Come through.